happening? I'm Will. I'm Christy. And this is Puma Dog. After years of overlanding across the United States, we decided to hang up normalcy and move full time into imaging our 21 foot travel trailer. Our goal is to set up base camp in different regions of the U.S. and explore the areas around us. We invite you to join us as we share our adventures of full time living. While we had base camp set up in Moab, Utah, we decided that we wanted to go on a quick little trip down towards the Mexican Hat area. We then wanted to hop onto the Utah Backcountry Discovery Route and try to see if we couldn't circle back around to Moab. So we packed up the tent, we packed up Pumba, and we headed on an adventure. All right, so status update. We've made it, and now our sense of exploration and adventure has kicked in, and we're looking for a campsite. And as you can see, it is quite sandy. Very very sad and we're running along the river here the site that we were going to stay at um, it's just a bit too windy so we're running along the river here trying to find another site that's the current situation all right success found a uh, ring we're on blm property here got a nice spot to park the truck nice spot to park the gazelle nice view right there can't really beat that huh Best of all, there's trails that I believe. I think go to the river? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they go to the river. Somewhere. The river's over there. I'm good on the river. <laughs> Scale snakes. This will be good. Nice little night camping on the San Juan River. In the morning, we get to hook up onto the Utah backcountry discovery route, go kind of venture around on that a little bit. It's be nice. Got to see the sunset just in time for the sunset um, over the Mexican hat, which is like right over there. So yeah, I'm happy. Set up camp. We're ready to roll now. Puma, what you think about the digs? Shit, we even got a little bit of firewood if we want to do a fire. It. That is Mexican hat, which I wouldn't be surprised if they rename over the next few years the way this world's going. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a bunch of bats flying over there. Yeah, you can't really see them. Crazy. I can barely see them. I don't know. When people talk about living the dream, I can't help but to think this has got to be it, right? Not bad, not bad. Boom Boo won't mind helping us clean up the dishes afterwards. Gazelle performed flawless as per usual. Camp Chef, flawless as per usual. Sidekick, flawless as per usual. <laughs> Scenery, check. Mexican's hat, uh, check. River, check. So after I had the explosion of Valentina sauce, I uh, got rid of a good bit of stuff in my box and 
Box is looking empty, boys. in the desert and it's nothing but dust <laughs> this is crazy and you're trying to film it's a little tough Since we were so close, after leaving Mexican Hat, we had to go check out Valley of the Gods. Now, I'm not so sure that this is part of the Utah backcountry discovery route, but anytime I'm in this area, I have to go to Valley of the Gods as it's pretty special to me. It was pictures of this very area that helped to inspire my first trip across the United States along the Transamerica Trail in 2016. One night in particular, I had camped out in this beautiful area, and the next morning when I woke up, I called Christy to check in, and I was traveling down this very road when I saw an adventure van. After seeing that adventure van, I'd mentioned to Christy that I would be perfectly content and happy living in one of those and just traveling full time. Now, I'm pretty sure she thought that was just a crazy pie-in-the-sky idea, and that it would never happen, and I was just kind of talking out of my ass, but here we are now, years later, doing exactly that, just in a little different configuration. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the clouds out here get like this red tint to them. It's pretty crazy. After riding through Valley of the Gods, it was time to head north on the Utah Backcountry Discovery Route and make our way up towards Moab. No matter how many times I come to Utah and where I go adventure to in Utah, I'm always amazed at the variety of landscapes. Everything from forest to desert, big rock cliffs, sand dunes, petrified sand dunes, Utah truly is an awesome place. If you've never been, I can't stress enough, you have to go. Pumba, are you not thrilled? <laughs> what, what's the problem, son? You don't like your digs? You got good stuff, man. Look, you got a nice pillow. <laughs> oh, you're bouncing too much. If I could strap him down, I'd strap him down. He's trying to walk in the foots of a dinosaur. So that is a dino footprint. Two. Two of them right there. Pretty cool, huh? So imagine this would be water right there, and the uh, dinos would come up and drink the water. Pretty wild.
When we left the camper in Moab, it was quite warm. We weren't prepared for, nor were we expecting to find snow, but in these higher elevations, snow was there. Luckily, all we have to do is make this climb and get over this pass, and then we get back down into warmer weather. Well, so I thought. What do you think about packing up the tent, burning our ass off, <laughs> and then we get up here, and, and there's crazy. snow? Holy cow. Well, we've run into a bit of a pickle. We are about 10,000 foot up and we need to start heading down, which is what we're doing. But the problem is we got some trail blockage. So I ain't getting past that. That sucks. All right, so current situation is backtracking. <laughs> Uh, sometimes this happens. Luckily, I have all these maps downloaded, and because of this, I was able to reroute. Now we're on cutoff road, and this looks promising. We're trying to get to lower elevation because, well, at higher elevation, we both were cold. cold. Neither one of us packed uh, mm -hmm. cool weather clothes because I plan on going over the mountain pass and then uh, coming back down and then finding camp. I didn't think that we were gonna be stuck on the mountain, but we're not stuck on the mountain, but we are coming down the mountain, which is uh, taking a little bit longer than what I thought it would. It's now eight o'clock our time here, and I was hoping to be set up at camp by now and cooking, but sometimes this kind of stuff happens. So uh, we could camp right here. There's beautiful spots all around us, another deer. Uh, wildlife is everywhere in the, uh, in the forest here. But there's campsites all around us that we could we could camp at. Uh, this is National Forest Land. Works uh, just about the same way as BLM land. Uh, you can pretty much camp, um, you know, where there's already you know spots or where you can find a spot. So we could camp here, but the problem is is it's cold, it's cold and it's going to be in the 30s. Yeah, and I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> We're not doing that. So that's the current situation. We are. Uh, headed back down the mountain and believe it or not all of this traveling that we will have done uh, we'll make it right outside of Monticello uh, Utah which is like 30 minutes away from where we're uh, set up base camp in Moab there all right well we found some land it's on this little lake here and it's beautiful you can't see it now but this is gonna be camp for tonight and this came by way of just simply exploring the map and figuring out what's what and where's where. Pretty cool, huh? Wait till you see what this place looks like in the morning. Right now, though, we're just trying to figure out where to put the tent where we're not rolling on top of one another. After getting blocked last night on the mountain, my sense of adventure this morning was still quite high. So rather than packing up and heading straight back to base camp, we decided to explore some more off-road routes to find this little arch I'd seen on the map. The off-road trails were nice and technical at some points, which is always appreciated, and the arch was pretty cool as well. This definitely satisfied my sense of adventure for this trip. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like it. And until next time, you guys keep hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit, and remember, you can be happy if you've a mind to. Peace, y'all.